Hi there, and welcome to this short introduction and teaser for our upcoming tutorial about pixel stretching. We've recently developed a tool how you can easily manipulate an image with a pixel stretch effect. I'll show you how it works. Select an image, and there it is. And in this version, we have three different pixel stretch methods. We'll start with the, the easy one. Just click once somewhere inside the image and drag your rectangle around. You don't need to keep your mouse button pressed. Just press once, drag and press again. If you press again, it erases this and you can start a new one. Right mouse button is cancel. And that's basically it for the rectangle stretcher. Within the rectangle stretcher we have two different blend modes. This is with the blend mode off. So it just takes the first vertical pixel and stretches it on the position or to the position where your mouse pointer is. And with this border blend mode, the effect stretches or blends from the beginning of your selection to the end. And you see that it updates real time. Within this rectangle stretch mode, you can use your mouse wheel to rotate. So now it stretches vertically. And if you use your mouse wheel again, it flips 90 degrees back. You see everything updates real time, quite steady. The second blend option is an alpha blend and that basically blends into an alpha zero so you can get this nice wash out kind of effect. gives subtle effect, some kind of movement. So that's for the rectangle stretch. Second one is the polygon stretcher. And that's basically a four point end gun can place by clicking with your mouse four times and I've switched the blending off. You can see it a little bit better. This one also has the border blend option so it blends from the starting pixels from left to right we haven't built a rotate function within here because you can just start your selection horizontally and you basically have your selection flipped and you see that it's updating real time Now the third one is what I like to call a random stretcher. And this one basically 
displays the pixels in a more spiky way. Switch the blend option off, you can see it a little bit better. Like this. And also with the rectangle stretcher you can flip it by rotating the mouse wheel. Some kind of drippy wash out effect, especially with the alpha on. Fortunately, with this stretcher, we haven't built the border blender in because that demands a little bit of head scratching. And the last and the fun part is the layer mode. And this one basically stacks all the selections on top of each other. It's nice for doodling around on rainy Sunday mornings. And just go on forever and see if you can get some kind of artistic genius inspiration you can mix all the stretch options with each other Just play around. See if you can get some kind of artistic expression with it. And if you like to start over, just hit clear. And we're back again with these lovely ladies. We've noticed that this stretcher also works very well with typographic. So if we start with the rectangle stretcher, you see that you can put it in layer mode. You can almost invent a new typo typography with it. Just play with it. It's very fun. You can get very nice effect very, very quickly.
like we said we're planning to record a tutorial on how to build this tool it's already available at our patreon but like with all our tutorials they're going to be free but in the meantime if you like to stay up to date and support us please like and subscribe it helps us a lot thank you for watching